This recipe is a dump and go. You don't have to do any sauteing. You guys are gonna absolutely love it. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Tara. I've been asking each week up in the cards what you'd like to see next, you guys have really been loving my Instant Pot recipe videos, as well as my soup series. So today, we are gonna make a super simple and fast and delicious butternut squash soup in our Instant Pot. If you don't have an Instant Pot, you can still make this recipe. I will leave complete instructions for both methods, as well as a full ingredient list in the description box below. There is no sauteing in this recipe. You guys are gonna absolutely Love it. Before we get started, if you have not already, I would love for you to be a part of this community. You do that by hitting the red subscribe button that's right below this video, and be sure to hit the bell icon, that way you're notified each time I post a new video. So if you guys are ready to make some incredibly easy and delicious butternut squash soup, then keep on watching. This recipe is super simple, and we are gonna start with getting our leeks ready. I love leeks. They kind of have an oniony flavor, but a little bit milder. So you wanna cut the dark part off because it's super bitter, and then cu just cut the other end off also. And so I'm slicing these kind of in half moon shapes. You wanna slice the leeks before you wash it because they are very, very dirty. Then I'm gonna add all of the chopped up leeks to a bowl and give them a really good wash. Next, I'm gonna grab some carrots. I'm using gold organic carrots here and I'm just peeling them. And then I'm gonna just slice them up. Carrots are gonna add a deliciously sweet flavor to this dish and they're filled with beta carotene, fiber, potassium, and a lot of antioxidants. Next, we're gonna get our butternut squash ready. So these are really, really hard to work with, so make sure you have a really sharp knife. I sliced both ends off, then I'm peeling all of the skins off, and I'm going to cut this in half and scoop out all of the seeds. This butternut squash did not have that many seeds, but they are super delicious roasted. So then I'm gonna just dice this up. It doesn't really matter what shape you make them because this soup is gonna be pureed. Then we're gonna grab an apple. I'm using a Honeycrisp apple here, and we're just peeling it, cutting out the core, and then we are gonna just dice this up. Honey crisp apples are my absolute favorite apple. They're super sweet and super delicious. Now we're gonna grab our Instant Pot. We're gonna put the butternut squash, the apples. Next, we're gonna add the carrots. And then we're gonna add some pure maple syrup. I absolutely love maple syrup. It has a lot of antimicrobial benefits. Then we're gonna add some ground cinnamon, some ground nutmeg, some Himalayan pink salt, and a little bit of white pepper for a little bit of heat. It's just very subtle. Then we're gonna add some vegetable broth. You could also use garlic broth. That would be pretty delicious also. Then I'm just kind of stirring this all up. I realized that I forgot to add the leeks, so we're gonna add the leeks. You can, of course, add the leeks in the beginning. This literally is a dump and go. Throw everything in the pot, give it a really good mix. Then it's time to grab our lid, make sure the silicone ring is on, and we're gonna set our Instant Pot to high pressure for eight minutes. That's right, only eight minutes. While the Instant Pot is doing its thing, we're gonna to toast up some pumpkin and sunflower seeds. The butternut squash did not have enough seeds in it for me for this entire meal, so I decided to just toast some of these up. It's optional, but super delicious. After the Instant Pot is ready, it's time to perform a quick release. So being careful not to burn yourself, I'm using the back of a spoon. I have released the steam. Once the pin drops, it's safe to open. I absolutely love my Instant Pot. It is so incredibly easy to cook with it. And this butternut squash is perfectly cooked super easy to make, super fast to make. So now I'm gonna grab my immersion blender. It's super handy in a recipe like this. If you don't have an immersion blender, you can also transfer this to a regular blender, but just be careful to vent it so you do not burn yourself. Once it's nice and pureed, I am going to ladle this into my bowl. Wow, this soup is so incredibly comforting, especially at this time of year. I'm gonna to top it with a little bit of Italian parsley. Then I'm gonna add a few sprinkles of those delicious seeds we toasted, a little bit of cracked red pepper flakes for some heat, and I'm gonna serve this soup with some of my delicious homemade Italian bread. 
What did you think of today's video? Drop me a comment below. Let me know either a video idea you have, a recipe you're interested in. Do you want to see more soup recipes? Would you like to see some meal prepping? Vegetarian? Let me know. I would love to hear from you. If you like today's video and you want to see more like it, be sure to hit that like button and share this video on all of your social media platforms with your friends, your family, your coworkers, or anyone else that you know that is interested in healthy but delicious recipes. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.